Let's see. What should it say? Just for the posterity. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we've been working on a renovation on this 1956 Calcraft. Uh, I took last week off because it was below freezing and there was snow on the ground. I'd been doing as much work as I could in the basement on things like the cabinets, but I'm at the point where everything else I need to do is really going to need to be done in the camper. And uh, the foreseeable future looks dry and warm, so tarps off the camper and we're ready to go inside and do some work on the floor. Why the floor? I thought you were doing cabinets. Well, because the cabinets I need to do next need to be built inside the camper and for me to do those, I need to know what I'm doing with the floor. Let me show you what we're doing with the floor. Okay, so after looking at a bunch of different floor samples and kind of trying to decide what direction we wanted to go with this, um, this was our initial plan. Cork flooring, this was gonna be a floating floor, uh, but that requires a lot more planning and some extra uh, what have you to kind of pull that off effectively. But I really like the look of this. Great texture, nice feel. I was a little concerned about durability though. So, so instead we're gonna go with VCT, vinyl composite flooring. Uh, it's your basic commercial floor tile. They are super durable, super easy to install. Uh, I'm actually going to install these underneath the cabinets as well so they will appear on the interior, uh, which just makes everything look a little bit nicer. But um, 45 cents a piece. So um, for this whole camper, I bought $45 worth, which is more than I actually need. But, uh, you know, it never hurts to have some extras in case you make a mistake. So really economical. You know, a lot of campers originally kind of had this sort of thing in it. So we know it's a good fit for, for campers and we know that it's going to be easy to take care of in addition to being durable. So I'm gonna clear everything out of here. I'm gonna lay out what I have and we'll take a look at it. Do another one? You want another one? Okay, good job. Hard. It's mommy. She had to go run an errand real quick. What do you think about that? Good. You like how that looks? Okay, so let me show you what we're working with in here. So we've got our VCT flooring. Uh, these cabinets are going to get a coat of poly on them so that they match the wall. And then our cushions are going to be kind of this uh, sandy color here. So when everything's said and done, we're, we're working with kind of a sandy palette in here, but then we will have uh, like some greenery, we'll have uh, some cushions of various colors. So, so we'll be bringing color back into this. So the kind of palette that we're working with here is of course uh, kind of muted. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting kind of a desert vibe with all of this. Uh, and, and I really like the way it's, I like the way it's looking. So, you know, one thing with uh, VCT flooring is you don't get away with stuff like this where this um, carriage bolt is sticking up and where these two pieces have a little bit of an uneven gap uh, that will cause your tiles to crack so you do need to put some underlayment under this so I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and get uh, just the cheap quarter inch underlayment material and then um, tack down uh, sheet of that in here so that that is not an issue uh, and then we can adhere these down um, you know the nice thing about that underlayment is if you decide you don't like these it's probably easier to pull up that underlayment than it is to pull up these tiles
Okay, so that fit is really pretty good. So it's just a matter of turning on the uh, air compressor and tacking this down. But of course, first, let's see, what should it say? Just for the posterity. So that laid down pretty easy. Um, the only thing that gave me a couple of problems were where some of the carriage bolts that hold the camper deck to the frame were. Uh, you know, they sat up a little proud. One thing you can do is take a Forstner bit and mark where those carriage bolts are and just kind of drill down on them from the bottom side. So you make a little pocket for them to sit in. And I did that in the back. There were a couple that I thought were low enough, but wound up holding up a piece a little bit. So I just came back with my sander and I knocked, uh, knocked them down a little bit there. So everything's nice and smooth. I used my nail set to set any staples that were still sticking up. So the goal is to have a nice smooth surface without any gaps, without any bumps, uh, any sharp transitions so that when you lay those uh, VCT tiles down, uh, they stick nice and evenly, but they also uh, aren't sitting up in any kind of weird angle because they will crack over time on that. So. Okay, so normally in your house, what you would do in your room is mark um, a couple of lines down the center of your room and start in that middle and work your way out uh, for a couple of reasons. One, your walls probably aren't 100% square and it looks more balanced if you don't have a full row of tiles on one side and a partial row, row on the other. The thing about the camper though is the tiles on that side are going to be completely covered up by cabinetry so you're never going to see those so I believe it's actually going to be easiest for me to just start against this wall over here the curbside wall and work that direction I think <laughs> but anyway so I'll, I'll do the adhesive for this front couple of rows I think and then we'll uh, let that get tacky and put those down and um, just move away from it for the back. So what you're wanting is for this to look more or less completely clear or translucent. You don't want um, any of it to still be white, more or less. So, so because this is a waterborne adhesive, uh, you want all the water evaporated out of it before you stick your tiles down. It's been almost 80 minutes and it's like 75 degrees today, so uh, we're getting there. We're going to lay the tiles down and then we're going to roll them with a little roller. You're actually supposed to use a 100 pound roller with this stuff, which I don't have, so I'm just going to press with this, which is what I've done in the past and worked fine. Last, last one I did uh, is the tile floor is still there 13 years later and it looks fine, so... Um, we're almost ready to go. Give your tile a little dust off. Make sure it's the way you want. A lot, a lot of folks will lay these down with the grain alternating like that. We're actually going to lay them down with the grain all running lengthwise because we just think that's a nicer look. It's a little more modern, maybe. Let's just snug up with the wall. Okay, that was actually really easy. Uh, I think I'm going to just gung-ho this and start at the back corner and put the adhesive down all the way to the doorway. And then when I come back to put the tiles down, I'm going to start at the doorway and work back across the floor till I get to the back corner. Yeah, anyway, super simple. Going to get to it.
have it. The floor is down. It's complete. I'm really happy with how it looks. And um, yeah, I, I wish every project was so easy to do. <laughs> VCT tiles are a little bit heavy. And so that does, you know, give me a little bit of pause when it comes to putting in a camper because I don't like adding extra weight. Uh, but overall, it's you know, spread out evenly over the floor of the camper and it really doesn't add that much weight to it. Uh, plus the durability and the ease of cleaning it I think is uh, well worthwhile. It also is super cheap. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for following along and we'll see you in the next one.